Hello, welcome back to my shop. This is Josh here. It's been a, a couple of days since I put the primer on the bedsides and the uh, the doors. It came out like super smooth. And we see a little reflection here, but everything is that that smooth on the bedsides and all. It just it did real well. So uh, I got the bedsides flipped over, got them most of the way sanded down. I still got a little bit of work to do on these. Uh, uh, rails for the uh, or the strip on the bedside for the wood but uh, other than that these are ready to go for uh, the primer on this side same thing over here I got the prep work to do on this raw surface but everything else has been scuffed down has some good tooth to it but yeah, and you see it's it's so nice and smooth on the white there for the primer and then uh, <coughs> did a little more progress now I got uh, the back of the cab sanded down. Uh, this side is ready to go for the the primer. The big bare spot from a, a high spot that was there. But I did the, the body work to level this out. So it's time to get that back in, in some epoxy. Uh, the only stuff I got left on it uh, is the inner pockets here. A couple of those to uh, sand out. This one's ready to go that one's ready to go but those last four over to the right still have some work to do and then uh the edge here around the uh, window that's still got a lot of like high build and stuff i hadn't really sanded that down so i need to go through and knock that down i started on it a little bit right here and it's looking pretty good and i need to keep going and then uh <laughs> i found an old oopsie <laughs> A big low spot right here uh, when I was doing the cab corner uh, the top of it comes up to about right here and then just above it was another dip or a dent there and uh, I was debating whether to weld a patch in here which I would have had to cut from another cab corner actually that I had the upper section so basically copying this section to right here which would have worked um, but uh, I sold the, the extra set of cab corners. So when I bought the truck, it came with rockers and cab corners. And I didn't know they were inside the cab. So I bought rockers and cab corners for it. And then had double the set. But uh, I didn't have my English wheel at the time. And this has some crown to it. Up and down and front to back. The curve with it. So uh, I couldn't make the patch panel at the time when I was doing the sheet metal work. And now I've got a low spot there. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff this up, put a little more filler on it, just a little bit. It doesn't really need to come up that much, but uh, I was starting to touch metal around it. So I really just need to build that up like a sixteenth of an inch or so. And it's going to be maybe an eighth or just a little bit, maybe three sixteenths thick. So a little thicker than I'd like, but not too bad in that one spot. But if it was down low... I wouldn't care, but it's up high enough that you know you got the door handle here, and that might kind of catch your eye, even though it's in what's going to be the white paint section, so it'll be less visible. I'm just gonna knock that down, put some filler on it, sand it down, and get it ready to go. So getting really close to being able to put the primer on this, the uh, fenders, the bedsides, get the doors flipped over. Uh, get those ready to go for uh, the high build the same thing when i do the high build on the fenders and the outer doors i'm also going to pull the uh, front fenders off and put the high build primer on that so i need to get those scuffed down as well so uh goals for today are finish the uh the filler and the sanding right here on the cab and get all the rest of the cab sanding done um so it's it's ready to go and kind of wipe it off, clean it down, get it masked off and taped off. Uh, then finish the sanding on the bed, uh, the, the strips for the wood on the bed, bed sides, uh, and get those ready to go. Uh, wipe down the fender, get the, uh, or the rear fenders, get the front fenders on some stands, and get those ready for the high build. And then just uh, tomorrow, I really want to get going on... Uh, putting some uh, high build down first, and then I'll come back with the epoxy primer on the stuff that needs epoxy. So 
yeah, high build on the front fenders, the outer parts of the doors and the rear fenders, and then epoxy on the bedsides, the cab. I also need to scuff up the uh, uh, the rear rail for the bed, which is hiding under there. I'll pull that out, and that's going to get the epoxy as well. And then <coughs> this is a uh, the grill piece uh, for the uh, the cowl, the little air inlet, you know, where the wipers are. So I want to get that knocked down and see if I want to put that in uh, epoxy as well. So let me pull some of these things out so they're not out of sight and out of mind. So I'll pull those two pieces out, get them set up on a stand as well, and get ready to go. But anyway, I'll uh, quit blabbing and get working. Got some uh, 80 grit on this DA that didn't stick well. So I saved it for this hand sanding stuff. Just gonna rough it up where I was seeing the guide coat was low. Mix up some filler. Get the dust off of it. <laughs> it's dusty out here. <sighs> Wipe it down real quick with some pre. So it doesn't have all that dust on there. Gives it a good chance to stick. Let that dry while it's mixing. I'm hoping this is my last large application of filler on this project. I didn't need the hardener, but whatever. Should work.
All right. Eh, do a little more here. I'm gonna call that good. <laughs> I get this thing cleaned off, and then uh, that should be uh, ready to go here in a couple minutes. I kind of put a little bit of heavy amount of activator in there, so it should go pretty quick. I've used the same spreader on the whole project. As a, I just spray it down with that pre-painting prep, wipe it off, and it's good to go. Yeah, still supple and doesn't have anything built up on it. Starting off with a little 120 grit instead of like 40 or 80. I think what got me into trouble with this in the first place was when I used 40 grit to clean up the filler that I put on the first time and I got a little aggressive and so when I went down with progressive grits getting smoother I dug a hollow in it uh, because I went too far with the first one so this one I'll uh, I put it on thinner and I'm gonna use a little finer sandpaper it's gonna take a little longer but I'll have a little more control over the uh, the shape that way for me at least
feels a lot better. I don't feel that hollow anymore. Okay, I think I'm going to swap this out to a 220 grit now. And put some curve into it to match the contour. Now we're gonna hit this with guide coat to see those 120 scratches. There we go. Edge of that's feathered out pretty good. That's good. Yeah, I'd say that's ready for the uh, epoxy.
Well, I found the panels I needed. So I've got the uh, the lower panel <clears throat> where the tailgate goes, and then the front valence like bottom panel underneath the grill there. I'd forgot that one, and then of course the uh, the cowl panel. So uh, got all those cleaned up, ready to go. <clears throat> They're ready for uh, the uh, epoxy primer. Then uh, I grabbed the fender. <clears throat> So it's got a bunch of texture on it just from the dust and stuff that's got on it. Some of the overspray that landed on it whenever I was uh, putting the high build primer on the roof. <clears throat> it kind of sprayed over. And then just some of the drips from when I was wet sanding the hood. So I'm going to grab some uh, paper and a block and uh, knock this down just to give it some texture for... Uh, uh, for the primer and then i sprayed this thing down it actually this one actually looks pretty smooth i know the other one's got some dings to it but i'll have a look around it but get it sanded down and then i'll decide whether i'm going high build on this one or if i'm just going to go straight to the sealer there's a little spot up in the front where there was a ding you can kind of see the texture of it right there uh there was a ding from the uh, shipping that hit it so when i sand that down i'll i'll see if i want to hit that with some high build or or what but uh yeah let's start putting a little more elbow grease into this fender
Well, that's a couple more panels prepped and ready to go. This one looks pretty good. There's a little dimple right there on the edge. I think uh, yeah, you can see it a little bit in the reflection there. So I need to hit that here. Go ahead and grab it right now. Hit that with a little scotch bright independently. If it has some tooth to it. There we go. But uh, there were a couple dings on this one on the top side. Uh, and then a spot that I cleaned up. You can see a little filler right there. But uh, then I'm going to go ahead and grab the, uh, the high build for these and just really smooth them off. So block them nice and straight. They'll give me a nice crisp line right here. They'll look pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'll do that. Do the same thing on the doors. So get a nice sharp line on those. Um, yeah. But uh, this one's done. I just used the uh, the front end to hold this stand. So it's ready to go. So I'll go with the high build on that. And this. So I think the last thing I'm going to do tonight before heading in is go ahead and clean all this garbage out of the inside of the cab. Get that cleaned out, vacuum it out, get all the dust out, and then uh, go ahead and mask up the, the windows and doors, to clear this thing out, um, and get it ready. So uh, I'd like to start laying a whole bunch of primer down tomorrow morning. So uh, save myself some prep time in the morning. I'll go ahead and get this thing masked off. Well, it's the next day. Got a little bit of the white stuff last night. That seems like all we ever get most uh, snow events is something like half inch to inch and a half not enough to worry about just enough for them to throw enough salt on the road to cause a problem <laughs> uh it looked pretty this morning it's already like half melted off now by like 10 a.m so uh yeah still pretty first one <laughs> so uh got the bedsides they're uh ready to go they just need wiped down Fender's good, sanded down. That one's ready for high build. It's DTM, so even though I got the exposed metal, it'll be fine. Then, uh, took quite a bit of time, actually, last night, and I got the, uh, the back window and both doors masked off, but I haven't got around the front window yet. One, because I was running out of time, it's getting late, and two, it's because I have a little bit of, uh, some overspray and stuff, you can kind of see some of the white dots and everything, uh, of, a uh, high build primer that came on this stuff when I was doing the roof from the backside, it kind of sprayed over and landed on there. So, I'm gonna grab some, uh, paper and just knock that lower portion off and get that cleaned up, and then, uh, then I'll mask off the front window and give everything another wipe down vacuum. I'm gonna uh, tape off a portion of the, the firewall and also make sure it covers up the uh, the engine that's in there, which is actually for uh, uh, the 56 four door. The uh, small block 350 in here is coming back out. Um, yeah, I need to get <laughs> the inner fender out of the way, make sure I cover up the uh, radiator and the core support, which is covered in dust now, but, uh, that should clean back up and look pretty good with that flat. Uh, so still a lot of prep work to do in here. And I've got dust on top of this thing. So I've got a lot of like sweeping and cleanup to do. I want to clean up some of the stuff on this table. I need to find the brackets actually that hold the, uh, tail lights because I need to get those painted at the same time because I don't want them in just the black i want the uh, the brackets to match the bedsides so that's like the last thing that needs to get painted that i don't have out here um for like the blue color uh i do need to paint the uh the bumpers but i'm just gonna grab those uh and scuff them up with some scotch bright like right before i get painting on the uh the roof and the side of the door and stuff everything that's getting white paint so but uh anyway I'll set this thing down, uh, sand on the uh, the front around the uh, the windshield where that overspray stuff is, and then get back to uh, paint prep and clean up.
I got the high build on everything well everything I wanted to get it on so fenders had a little whoopsie when setting up the uh, little stand here moving everything inside scraped it but that's an area that was probably gonna get about sanded down flat anyway same there even though it goes pretty close to that body line we'll see how that looks I might have to touch that up a little bit later but uh yeah got it down on the Fender here looks good. Door, the other door. Fender over there. So, uh, and I also got a bunch on the uh, the steps for the bed. So, looks good. Got the rest of the uh, doghouse taped up there in the front of the uh, the truck, so I don't get anything uh, over spray all over like my fresh painted uh, core support and engine. So. Uh, I'm going to let this stuff sit up here for, uh, I'll probably give it two hours to, uh, cure up. That way it's not, uh, sticky when I touch it. Part of this is because of the temperature. Uh, I wanted to get it inside as fast as possible and it was, you know, it doesn't catalyze below like 60 degrees. It says on the can it significantly deteriorates the, uh, the pot life for it. Like it stretches out because it's not chemically uh, working like it's supposed to so I uh, brought it in here turn the lamp on should get up to 70 in here within about 30 45 minutes and I'm just gonna let it bake in here at 70 degrees uh, for two hours to let everything cure and then uh, I'll be back out and kind of do another shuffle and uh, hopefully I can get some primer on the uh, the bed sides there and on the cab It's been a couple hours, and uh, the uh, high build is no longer sticky. It's still a little soft, I can tell. It's supposed to be, it says anything under 60 degrees, and it won't uh, 
cure right or take forever to do it. Um, it's been like 62, 63 in here. So uh, the drying time it said it at 70 degrees on the on the container uh, was going to be an hour and a half. So it's been three at a little cooler temperature, but it's going. So um, I think I'm just going to let it continue to cure overnight. I got some stuff to do this evening. Uh, edit a video, uh, get that thing rendering and loading up onto YouTube. I'm probably going to watch uh, DD Speed Shop's live stream, hang out with the people there. And then uh, I'm going to try and get a decent night's sleep. My poor little guy's had an ear infection for the last two nights, and he's been waking up every 10 to 30 minutes all night for two nights in a row. So we got him taken care of with some antibiotics and stuff, but uh, <laughs> dragging a little bit, kind of tired. But uh, anyway, I'll be back out here tomorrow, wipe down uh, the cab again, get that uh, ready for the white epoxy, same thing for the bad sides, and uh, if I can get that gun to lay down as good as it did the first time, those should be finished up and ready for paint with just maybe a little scuff sanding before uh, shooting paint on it. So I'm excited about that. And then all these uh, panels here that I put the high build on recently, I'll... Once I get those blocked down, I'm still going to put a coat of epoxy on them. So, uh, still got some coatings to apply, but I think I'm done with a high build and fillers and stuff. And now I'm working more towards finishing stuff, you know, finish coatings. So, pretty excited about that. Got a lot of work left to do. But, uh, yeah, I'll be out here uh, tomorrow, probably around noon, and uh, pick this up. Well, this is the next evening. I actually have been out here for, I don't know, about six hours today, uh, cleaning and picking up and arranging and organizing and stuff. So I had a big pile of uh, parts for this truck that was sitting underneath this table, collecting all sorts of dust and stuff. So that's taken out. I've taken everything away from the wall all the way along the edge and actually like, swept off that little step. Swept the floor, vacuumed everything, wiped stuff down took the leaf blowers and blew the dust off the lights up top, off the uh, garage door opener, the top of the garage door, air compressor, tops of the tables, the sills, everything. Um, went through, now I can actually walk around the whole truck. Uh, I don't have the uh, paint rack, which is right here, in my way anymore. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going well. Uh, it's been... <laughs> been a long day so i did push uh, the panels that i got in uh, uh high build primer uh yesterday those are outside just sitting underneath the uh, uh carport at the moment with a couple of other items that i didn't want in here i got a few racks and stuff or carts out there with some tools and other stuff that i just didn't want in here so uh yeah anyway i'm going to give this stuff uh one final wipe down uh, and uh, get uh, everything ready to go. Um, I'm going to use that purple Harbor Freight uh, primer gun again. And I had that laying down pretty smooth last time, so hopefully it'll do it for me again. But um, I'm going to, like I said, get all that prep work stuff done. Uh, I might even try and mount the uh, uh, camera on the spray gun like I tried the last time whenever I'm working on these uh, bedsides, just to get a good view of it. Uh, I'd had a camera set up for the bedsides when I put the uh, epoxy on the other side, and with the cool temperatures, it was really weird. Like, the GoPro shut off because of low battery at, like, 50% battery. I was like, what the heck is this? So I pressed record, and it recorded about five seconds of footage and shut off, and I didn't notice it until after I got to painting. So... Hopefully we'll have a little better shot here. I'm going to put brand new batteries in this camera and the one on the stand. Try and get a few multi-angle shots of this. And, uh, yep, get some epoxy on this thing. Keep moving forward. I really like this uh, lid, the little pour-it lip thing. It makes it so much nicer to pour out of this gallon can. I got my respirator on now because I'm messing with chemicals, but uh...
Just gonna mix up two of these. Pour up to the five on the one to one line. Pretty painless. Get that stuff back in there. I'll wipe it off and then I can uh, reuse the uh, the port lid like or the little spout thing I have, I've used this I don't know three times four times it's still doing good because I wipe it out clean it off Okay. Trying to keep from having a huge dang mess. I'll put some new gloves on. Fill it up to the five on the one to one. And fit it with some reducer. Kind of going by eyeball on this one. Says for about a uh, up to twenty percent. I'll see the consistency whenever I get done stirring them, and if I think they need a little more, I'll uh, pour some in.
nice and thin so it should spray through that Harbor Freight gun again pretty nice. I'm hoping so. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it 10 more stirs. Then 10 the other way. All right, calling that good.
Well, everything is in primer. Bedside fenders, bedsides, doors, front fenders, cab, got the tailgate up there in front of it, got the hood, cowl vent, lower front uh, fascia piece, and then the uh, front bed panel there, and the little side steps for the bed so all the major panels are in primer now or painted by <laughs> the inner fenders and the uh, core support but uh it's a major milestone accomplished there i'm uh super thrilled with how uh, everything came out um it's looking pretty good uh i'll be getting into uh, sanding but i'm going to give it a couple days out here to let that epoxy uh, set up that's been working well for some of the other things I was doing, giving it two days at least before I start sanding on the epoxy. And uh, I don't really, really want to throw the uh, uh, high build primer dust up while the epoxy might still be a little wet. So yeah, I'm just going to ignore the shop for a couple days, take a break. I've been giving it pretty good this weekend, um, especially with the uh, cleaning today. <laughs> doesn't really show for the uh, the progress on the truck, but it uh, definitely made a difference in here for uh, me being able to work and it's kind of my own sanity. So uh, anyway, thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.